Hey, Merle Hall Hawks, Mr. Higgins here with some exciting news for you and your teachers. Uh, coming up next Friday is International Dot Day, uh, not just here at Merle Hall, but all around the globe. And we're really excited to uh, do some things to celebrate Dot Day. It's based on the book by Peter H. Reynolds, The Dot, which I will be reading to you in a moment. Uh, I was thinking yesterday uh, about all the dots that I see around and I'm wearing a check shirt and a striped tie today. Uh, I gotta make sure I get a, a new dot tie so I can wear it on dot day. Um, but I do have lots of dots. I found in my office some of the artwork from my own children. So my daughter Charlotte did this piece of artwork. We've got some dots, which I love to look at each day. I also have my middle daughter Kiki made this beautiful coaster for me. It is a dot. She knitted that with her, her grandmother, her grandy. And I have some dot artwork from my oldest daughter, Lily, that hangs in my office too. And if you've ever been to see Mr. Higgins, you'll see these things around the office. Uh, so I'm really excited because, um, well, it's just an exciting day. I mean, to be able to, it's a day of creativity and making your mark and taking chances. Uh, I know we have so many great artists here at school and, um, oh, we have a friend who's come to visit. Hey, Dot. How's Hi! It, how's it going? Fantastic! So you're excited about Dot Day? I'm so excited! Oh my goodness, you are excited. So we're going to do some fun things on Dot Day. Mm -hmm. uh, you have any ideas? I mean, you're, you are the Dot, so what do you think we should be doing? Well, you could do make a dot with paint, or a marker, or maybe a crayon, or maybe you could make a dot with nothing. Ooh, you could what? do the background as a dot. A dot with nothing. That's an interesting idea, Dot. I've never seen that before. You should try oh, it. All right. We're going to try some awesome things on Dot Day. Uh, just to introduce you to Dot Day and why we're going to celebrate it, I would like to read the book, The Dot. There you are, hey, Dot. That's me. That is you. That's me. How cool is that? Look at that. And you're on the back, too. <gasps> me again. Exciting it's like I'm twins. Stuff. So as I said, this is The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. And I will, let me get a little closer to you. I've got my swirly gold frame in the background for a reason you're going to see in a minute. Mm -hmm. This book was actually, I had it signed by my friend Peter Reynolds, which is awesome. It's to the Higgins family there. The girls love this book in my house because we love to be creative. Oh, get this. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Doesn't look too happy, Dot. Mm-mm. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. <gasps> Very funny, said Vashti. <laughs> I just can't draw. Doesn't look too happy, Dot. Mm-mm. So sad. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. I think this teacher's got a trick up her sleeve, Dot. What do you think? I wonder. Probably. Teachers are pretty tricky. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. And there it is. Right back on a gold frame, Dot. Ooh. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. <gasps> It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Fancy. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Nothing like a never before used set of watercolors. They're all so bright and shiny. Like you, Dot. Like me! Vashti painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. 
the blue mixed with the red, she discovered that she could make a purple dye. Ooh, Ooh Mr. Higgins' favorite color. Vashti kept experimenting, lots of little dots in many colors. So many dots. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Big. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a <laughs> dot. Dot, you know what's up, don't you? It's my book. Look at that. That's impressive. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. I love that language, quite a splash. I like splashing. You can make a dot with water. You could, couldn't you? Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. Well, I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Do you know that what she said? I do, I do. <laughs> Please, sign it. And he did. And he did. What a great book, Dot. I love that book. It's amazing. It was dedicated to Mr. Matson, Peter Reynolds' seventh grade math teacher, who dared him to make his mark. So, on... Friday, September 15th, we're going to all get together as a school and show what we can do with dots. Uh, leading up to that day, we're going to do some great artwork, Dot. We're going to get creative. We're going to get crazy. Are you going to make a mark? We're going to make our mark. We're going to see where it takes us, like Moreau Hall Hawks do. I'm so excited! Sound good? Yes, sir. All right. We'll see you then, September 15th, Friday. Uh, we'll have an assembly and celebrate all the beautiful Dot artwork that all of you wonderful Moreau Hall Hawks create. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. See you, Doc. Bye-bye.